In this video, we'll be focusing on TestSuite Pro's ability to locate and organize data with the Data Miner, and various ways that you can display that data and the sequence of changes that happen during an event using the Logic Analyzer and Custom Displays. The Data Miner tool provides a configurable grid of key process data objects from any IED in your workspace. These data objects can be grouped and sorted or filtered by any of the columns listed at the top. You can group by grabbing a column header and dragging it into the Group By section. You can remove this grouping by mousing over the header in the Group By section and clicking the X. You can also sort the data alphabetically by clicking on the header. You can do reverse alphabetically by clicking again, and one more click will return us to the default. And if you're only interested in certain types of data, you can click the filter icon in the header, select the type you're interested in, and click filter. Now you'll only see that type of data in the data miner. To remove this, go back to the now red icon and click clear filter. Using these three methods, you can quickly get down to the information you're most interested in. Once organized in this manner, you can save these as presets to quickly get back to this filtering option. We have also provided users with a few TMW presets, like the Goose Data preset, which will sort by data objects used in Goose, and MeasureAn values. Once you have data organized in a way you're interested in, you can then drag them over to the displays, which we'll see next. In the Logic Analyzer, we can drag values over from the data miner and track the signals directly via Goose and reporting. Let's go back to the data miner and get some values involved with a fault on a breaker line. I've made a preset to speed this along for the sake of this video. Since I'm interested in line 1, I'm going to go to those IEDs and open them. And then I'm going to grab values associated with a fault, specifically looking at PDIF, PTRC, XCBR position, and the recloser. I'm going to drag these over to the logical analyzer. Now you can see that the logic analyzer has four graphs for the values I drug over. Now that we have the logic analyzer set up, let's start recording. I'm going to trigger a fault on the line from our IOP 2017 demo in DTM. Once these events have come through, we can stop recording and investigate what happened. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that way we can see this event in more detail. If you're interested in specific values, you can click the cursor and bring it to your current time. You can also move this cursor around to see where the nearest event is and what the value was at the time. Following the logical flow of events, you can see the PDIF that was sent out by our simulation, which caused the trip signal in PTRC to be published. This caused the breaker position to open as seen here. Afterwards, the recloser sent a signal, causing the breaker to return to the original closed position. Now that we've seen these values in the logic analyzer, let's send some to the custom display. To send signals from the logic analyzer to the custom display, you select the signals that you're interested in sending, you go to Options, Send Signals, Selected Signals to the custom display. Then you can organize them as you see fit. I'm also interested in creating a single line diagram. As before, I've already created a preset that will help me set this up and I will grab all of the data objects in line 1 BC and drag them over to the display. These tiles can be used to make the single line diagram. I will also add a bus bar and a load and rotate them into the proper orientation. 
This time, I'm going to trigger a permanent fault in my simulated substation so that you can see the values change in the single line diagram. Note the event counters will increment each time the corresponding data attribute changes. This can be cleared before new tests to catch transient events. You can also right click on these tiles for their history of all their changes. You'll also see the breaker open and close and open again since the fault did not clear. The data miner tool provided a configurable selection of data objects which was grouped, sorted, and filtered. These data objects were then dragged to the logic analyzer and custom display. The logic analyzer was used to chart real-time values from the IEDs. This allowed for us to monitor and troubleshoot the behavior of the IEDs in the substation. A custom display was created to view the available data from goose and reports in a single one-line diagram. If you'd like more information on how I generated the goose signals that were displayed in the logic analyzer or triggered the permanent fault for the custom display, check out the link in the description below or the eye in the top right of the video. Thank you.